Today I'm going to talk you through how to use the software Krita. Krita is completely free and it is easy to download to your computer. Here I am showing you a YouTube video that can help you go step by step how to download Krita onto your computer. On your computer, open Google and type in Krita download. On my page, it is the second line. Now your screen should look something like this. Click get Krita now. Again, Krita is completely free. If you've ever worked with Photoshop before, it is quite similar to that. To get the full step by step, please go back to the YouTube video and that will give you clear instructions on how to get Krita onto your computer. If you're still waiting for Krita to download, please pause the video now. However, if you have got Krita downloaded, then this is what your screen will look like. Once Krita is open and your screen looks like this, just under where it says start, press new file. Once this box is opened, now select pixels and change the width to 1200. Repeat these steps for height as well. Resolution will always be 300. Then please double check over all your information and make sure it is the same as what is on my screen. Then once you are ready, just click create. Now I already have a background image ready and my one is polka dots. This is a little bit more complicated. So if this is your first try, please just drag over a square image of one single color. This can be any color, but just avoid pattern at this point if it's your first attempt. Now drag your background image over to the blank document and select insert as new layer. The background image will now fill the whole empty space that was on your first open document. Now go back again to your documents and repeat the same process. This time we are going to use your elements. So here I have selected dogs and we will just drag over the image again and insert as new layer. So as you can see, the dog is far too large for this document. So I'm going to select the transform tool and by clicking and holding on to the corner of the dog while also holding down the shift key, that will help bring down the scale of the dog while also keeping it in the same proportions. Also, if you would like to rotate the element, just hover over the corner until you see a small wheel appears. Now by pulling with your mouse to the left or to the right, you can rotate the element. Now continue this process with all the elements that you would like to include in your repeat design. When you are working on Krita and you decide once you have already placed an element that you want to go back and move it, you have to actually go back into the layers panel and select the layer you are wanting to move. So for example, say it's one of the dogs, you want to move the dog again. So you're going to go back, click on the dog in the layers panel, then go to the move tool on the far left. And from there you can move your elements. At this stage of the process, it is also really important that every element you are adding to this document stays within the box. If it is not within the box, it will cause your repeat to not be seamless and this is something that you don't want. Once you are happy with your design, head up to the top of your page and select layer. On layer, go down to flatten image. What flatten image will do is take all of your layers and put them into one. Once you have done that, go back up to the top of your screen and click on file. Then save as and name this document file one and save as TIFF. Now that you've saved your document, feel free to cross it off and we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to do the same dimensions as last time. Double check all of your information and click create. Now that we have our new document, we're going to go and click on view in the top left corner and tick snap to guides. 
Go back and do the same again, but this time select Snap to Grid. Now click and hold from the rulers and drag over to the centre and that will give you a line at 600 pixels. Repeat this step from the other ruler as well. Now we are going to go back to our documents and drag over that file that we had saved before. So it should have been named file one and we're just going to drag that over, insert as new layer and now use the move tool again to take file one and move it to the left of our document. This will now be in the two left boxes that are on your page. Once that has been moved over, head back over to your layers panel and right click on that image. Then select copy layer and again select paste layer. So now you should have a duplicate of file one. And now we are going to move that copied layer into the far right two boxes. Now that I have both layers where I want them to be, I notice that there's a small gap in the middle of my design. So I'm going to take one of my elements and I'm going to use the bone and put it into a space where I think could be filled. Once we are happy with the design, we are going to go back to click on layer at the top and click on flatten image. And then go back to file, save as. This time we are going to name it file two and also save as a TIFF. And back to the beginning again, we will go to start, new file, all the same information as before and click create. We are repeating a lot of the same steps. So because this is a new document, we're going to have to click on view at the top left corner and re-click snap to guides and snap to grid. Then remember to also drag over your rulers again and set them to the middle points 600 pixels. Now this time our most recent save was file 2 so we are going to drag over file 2 and move them to the top and bottom of our document instead of the left and right. Once your design is ready head back over to layer, flatten your image and this time we're going to do file, save as and file 3. Make sure that it's also saved as a TIFF. Once you have saved file three, cross that off and let's start a new document again. This time we're going to change our width and our height to 2400. It's still going to be pixels and it's still going to be 300 resolution. This part of the video is purely just to show you how you can see your design put into a repeat. So now we're going to go back to view, snap to, and again, snap to guides and snap to grid. Remember to pull your rulers over to the midpoints. This time it is 1,200 instead of 600. Now we are going to take over our most recent save, which is file three. This way you can just double check, does your design repeat seamlessly or do you need to go back and make any changes? Now there we have it, I've just zoomed in there so you can see it very clearly. It is a perfect seamless repeat that has no obvious lines, you can't see where there has been rough edges, it all blends in and you wouldn't even know where it starts or finishes. If you would like to save this file, again just follow the same process as before, which is file, save as and this time file 4. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed it.